What do you know about physiotherapy in the field of health? This may be the question that has been on many people's minds. So what exactly is physiotherapy? The definition that most people seem to give is that it's the study of muscle disorders. And this is true. It is the treatment that is devised to improve muscles, it is indeed the use of physical therapy techniques to help individuals with muscle disorders. But physiotherapy can also be termed as the treatment that is designed to regain function following a muscle disorder. And once again this is correct as well. It is indeed the use of physical therapy techniques to help individuals with physical impairments resume the normal activities of daily living. And finally, physiotherapy can also be termed as the rehabilitation technique that is most suitable for those individuals who have suffered a complete muscle disorder. Hence, it is most commonly employed to help individuals who have suffered a complete muscle disorder. However, when it comes to the treatment that is best suited for individuals who have suffered partial limb disorders, the name of orthopedics comes into the picture. This is because physiotherapy also uses the rehabilitation techniques of orthopedics. And thus physiotherapy is regarded as the most suitable technique for those who have suffered a complete limb disorder. Orthopedics is the science of movement in the body, in particular the rehabilitation technique that is most suitable for people who have suffered a complete limb disorder. But it is also equally suitable for those who have suffered a partial limb disorder. And this is the most basic difference. Orthopedics uses the rehabilitation techniques of movement in the body following an injury. So that means physiotherapy is suitable for those who have suffered a complete limb disorder, and orthopedics is the treatment that is most suitable for those who have suffered a partial limb disorder? Yes, it does, and this is the very reason why physiotherapy is so suitable for those who have suffered a complete limb disorder. And it is most suitable for those who have suffered a complete limb disorder because physiotherapy uses the rehabilitation techniques of movement following an injury, which is the exact same as orthopedics, and this is the very reason why physiotherapy is most suitable for those who have suffered a complete limb disorder. The main aim of physiotherapy is to enable the individual to regain the ability to be able to move his limbs in the way that they were before the injury. The main goal of orthopedics is to regain the ability to be able to move his limbs normally. Well, what about the way that physiotherapy is taught? This is a new and fresh way of teaching a therapy that has been developed in the last few years. The teacher should include information on the muscles of the body. This is the same as telling the patient about the muscles of the body in the previous chapter. In fact, these muscles are very much part of the body, because they are active and they are moving all the time, as you may have heard. So the teacher should teach the patient how the muscles move, and also how they are connected to other muscles. This will help to restore the patient's confidence. And the teacher should also teach the patient to move and move and move so that the patient becomes aware of and remembers what he is doing. This helps to relearn how to move. It is a very successful method of teaching the patient to move. They should always be encouraged to try to move, even when they have fallen, because the movement of the body is important, and it makes a difference. To help improve the movement of the lower limbs, the patient should learn to perform basic leg movements. They should be encouraged to begin to move their legs, with the support of a horizontal board, using the thigh muscles, to come down. And, after learning how to do this, the therapist should repeat the exercise with his legs upwards and downwards. The patient should continue to repeat the exercise until he can move his legs up and down. They should also repeat the movement over and over again until the patient has become very familiar with his movements. It is important to remember the muscles of the lower limbs as it is to remember the muscles of the upper limbs. They are very important and important for movement. So it is an important exercise. By the way, the movement of the torso, moving the legs, and lifting the shoulders should be taught. When the patient reaches a certain level of movement in the lower limbs, the therapist can move the upper limbs. Then the upper limbs should be placed on the board, and the lower limbs on the board, so that they can be felt moving. Then the therapist should repeat the movement of the upper limbs to the lower limbs. And, from the patient's point of view, it is like touching the floor and the upper limbs on the board, while the lower limbs touch the upper limbs. Thank you for watching. If you got some value from this video, be kind enough to like, share and subscribe to my channel.